Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jellen. Today, we're going to talk about finding the end of the month. Now, I know that we talked about this in episode 559 and episode 540 and probably several episodes before that. And it's funny, when you get into these long protracted arguments about the best way to do something, we kind of forget the original premise. And the original premise was the person was not allowed to use functions in the analysis tool pack. Now, in Excel 2007, the analysis tool pack has 89 functions that are part of the core Excel. But in earlier versions of Excel, if someone had not activated the add-in, they would get a name error instead of the actual function. So in that original case, the person said, hey, my company doesn't allow us to use analysis tool pack functions because it's going to give the wrong results in some people's spreadsheets. Well, if you don't have that problem, then the simplest way to do this, to find the end of the month, is to use the EO month function. Check to see if you have the analysis tool pack turned on with tools, add-ins, and then make sure that analysis tool pack is checked. It's always there, but it's not checked by default. Click OK, and then you're able to use any of the 89 functions in the analysis tool pack, including the end of month function, EO month, specify a date, and then how many months in the future you want the end of the month for. So here we're looking for the end of next month, so we would use a 1. If we wanted the end of this month, we would just use a 0 and hit Enter. Now, unfortunately, with many date functions, it gives us the right result, but the wrong format. So we want to format cells. The fast way to do that is Control-1 to format cells. And we'll choose some sort of a date format. Click OK, and there you see the end of next month from January 2nd is indeed February 28th. This is much easier than having to worry about figuring out if there's 28 or 29 days in February. And so if you're allowed to use the analysis tool pack, if there's no reason why you can't use the analysis tool pack, the EO month function is much easier than what we discussed in episode 540 and 559. So thanks to Wayne for sending in that note. If you ever see anything in a podcast where you say, hey, there's a better way to do that, drop me a note, bill at mrexcel.com, and we'll be able to get you on a future podcast. Hey, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.